Good morning to you both. You know what? We just got out here to Terryville High School, which is just in the Plymouth area. You can see that people are coming in and out, but the reason we ended up coming over here was because we heard from a few different people who contacted our assignment desk that the polling machines may be down. Now, thankfully, whenever we arrived, the, that was not the case. Thank, the uh, machines are working. They said that whenever they first opened the doors this morning, they did have a few issues right at first. They said the machines were a little slow starting up and then they did have an issue with one of the parts inside of the machine that you put your ballot into, but that has all been resolved. They said all they needed to do was make sure they got that part fixed. They did. They changed it out and now they are ready to roll. They said every single vote has been accounted for. They want people to turn up and show out for this election day today. Now we have had a few other people call into our assignment desk with a few other calls as well as far as maybe some other voting places that are having some issues. We are working to find out if that's true. Now, the big thing that you need to know is what are you going to do if you arrive and your polling place is maybe having a few issues? I do have a number for you. I'm going to go ahead and read that off to you twice. It is 1-866-733-2463. Again, that is 1-866-733-2463, or you can email elections at ct.gov. Now, that is a good way to go ahead and officially report any issues you may be having at your polling place. If the machines are down, you can still vote. You just need to ask for a paper ballot. Make sure you don't leave. Get that vote in. And if you are, again, having any issues, make sure that you report it. It's extremely important. But we're going to work on some other info here, see if we can make sure that all of these polling places across Connecticut are working as they're supposed to be. Live in Terryville, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61 News. Okay, Brooke, thank right, Brooke, you for that update. You.